A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. During the years of unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law, or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Run the tail of the Black Arrow. Come, Silver. Come on. The rain, whipped by the wind, beat hard against the face of a slender girl who fought her way toward the small one-room telegraph office. This is a little more than I bargained for. Can't complain, though. Waited a week for this storm. At last. Hey, shut that door. Sakes alive, things are... Well, early lady, I didn't notice. Something like you. Sorry I spoke that way. Oh, well, that's all right. I thought it was one of the boys that generally drops around to talk a little evenings. Rotten night. Oh, terrible. Oh, soaking wet. My sake's alive. Here, here, sit yourself down by the stove. Got a pot of coffee here. Throw you out of my... It, it is pretty cold. Here. Take this blanket and wrap it around your shoulders. Get a chill. It's likely to give you a bad cold. Got some cold medicine here. Oh, no, I'll be all right. Thanks. I... I saw your light. You don't live in Ashton, do you? No. I didn't think I'd seen you around. Ashton's just west of here. Can't see it on a night like this, of course. I want to get to Ashton. I'll go on. Well, you better wait a while. Get dried out, and then I'll take you into town when I shut down the office. You riding? No. A foot? That's right. Oh, that fire feels good. I don't mean to be curious, miss, but... How far you travel on foot in this storm? Oh, far enough to be dog-tired and soaked through and through and cold. Hey, poor young one. Here, now, drink this. Oh, thanks. Oh, that tastes good. Uh, this must be a pretty tiresome place to work, all by yourself all the time. Oh, well, the boys drop in to talk. I'm not alone so much. I, uh... Suppose you get some pretty strange messages on that telegraph. Uh, what made you say that? <laughs> what made me? Why? I've been having the dog gone this time figuring out what some messages mean. Funny part of it is I don't even know who they're for. Oh, you don't? 
Well, then how can you deliver them? It's trouble, I can't. Oh. It was only a week ago I was complaining about it to the line boss. He said he didn't know what to do about it. Just hold them here till they're called for is all I can do. Well, I heard of a man in Asheville that was waiting for word from the east. Maybe the message should have gone to Asheville instead of Ashton. Uh. Uh, this man's name was, um... Oh, dear, what was it? Larrabee? Uh, that doesn't sound familiar. Uh, what's the first name? Tolman Larrabee. That's who these messages are for. Oh, no. Well, that wasn't the man. I don't expect you know anyone named that, do you? Oh, uh, no. Uh... What are the messages about? Well, that's the thing of it. The doggone things are just a jumble of words. Don't make head nor tail. They're as mixed up as a needle in a haystack that's caught up by a hurricane. <laughs> oh, they couldn't be that bad. Maybe they're in a code of some sort. I thought it might be something of that sort. I can't make it out, though. Here, I'll show you the last one that came in. Showed it to several of the boys that came in here, but none of them could make sense out of it. Hey, you take a look at this. Mm, thanks. I'd like to. While the girls studied the message in the telegraph office, two men were talking in the back room of the cafe. The smaller one seemed to dominate his big, burly, bearded companion. I'm giving the orders, Red. Get that through your thick head. Oh, no, Mr. Dorn, I didn't mean to make no argument with you. But if it's just a capture of a girl, one girl, <laughs> Jiminy, I can do it. Yes, well, a girl with a brain can outwit a dozen big hulks like you. That's why I want the whole gang rounded up. Well, are you sure that you read the right meaning in the last message that come through from the East? I'm sure. I only asked, that's The head all. of the Black Arrow learned that this girl is out here to try and discover who he is. But why is she here instead of where he is in Washington? Because the Lone Ranger's here. She's supplying him with information all the time. Oh. What's more, the girl is likely to learn about the telegraph. Mr. Dorn, she couldn't learn about the way we get messages, could she? That statement proves that you're a fool. No one but a fool underestimates an enemy. I know, but she... If she, she hears could... that messages in code come through the Ashton office, she'll investigate. But even so, would Lefty tell her about the messages? That operator isn't one of our men. He'd tell if she was clever in the way she questioned him. And she will be clever. But, Mr. Dorn, even if she's seen the messages, they wouldn't make sense to her. She might decode them. I'm not going to waste any more time talking to you. I want you to get the men together and surround that telegraph office. Starting at daybreak, huh? Yes. You can count on us. Very well. well you sit still, Red. Yes? Who, who's there? I've got to see you. It's Jake. Just a minute. Where did you leave, Jake? Jake? He rode east to visit a friend of his this afternoon. He was going to come back tonight. Why does he want to see me? Golly, Mr. Dorn, I don't know. Oh, she better hurry and let me speak to you. Come in here. Uh, I have to hurry here. How you think? Hello, Red. What do you want? Dorn, I come by the telegraph office. I'm away from calling on a friend. Well? You know what that last message said? The one that came in yesterday about keeping an eye out for a girl? Yes? Well, there's a girl talking to Lefty right now. What? Yeah, I peeked into the window as I come past. Thinking I'd stop in and keep up a friendly relation with Lefty. When I seen her, she was reading telegrams. What were the telegrams? I don't know. I couldn't see that close. What was being said? I couldn't hear. The wind and rain was howling something fierce. But I thought you should know what was going on. You get over there right away. Who, me? Yes. Red, you get the rest of the boys. Some are in the other room playing cards. The rest will be in the hotel. Get them together and capture that girl. Right now, huh? At once. And you, Jake, get back to that office. And don't let that girl escape. Leave it to me. She and the Lone Ranger stand between success and failure of the Black Arrow. I'll get going. You ever see such a mixed-up message? No, I... I better be going now. Going? If you wait just a little longer, I can see that you get to town. Oh, I can find the town. The storm's as bad as ever, though. You'll get I over. don't mind, really. Now, I you shouldn't... hold on, miss. You read something that last message I showed you. <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? I watched your face and went pale for a minute. Now you've got to leave here in a hurry. <laughs> You'd better stick to your telegraph and not try to be a detective. I note things, miss. I noted just what I said. I want to know what was in that there message. Things have been too... That door, I... A robbery. Hey, Jake, what's the matter? Better enough, Lefty. This girl's a criminal. She is? There might be a reward for a capture. If there is, I see that you share in it. You don't say, well, I never... You know that isn't true. Lefty, is that what they call you? Mm -hmm. Listen to me. Don't believe what that man tells you. Let me show you what I have Better here. stand still, miss. I got my orders. And, and... so have I. Jumping hey. Juniper. Well, miss, 
Looks like you carry a gun, too. I do, and I can fire just as fast as you can. Uh, I reckon so. Sort of a stalemate, huh? We got the drop on each other, but that's only because I don't like to shoot a pretty girl. Well, I'll shoot if I have to. I'm leaving here, and you haven't the nerve to shoot me. I don't have no shooting in my office. Lefty, listen to me carefully. I can't prove it now, but I'm on the right side, and this man is not. You aren't in league with him and his friends, or he wouldn't have told you that you might share in a reward. He wouldn't have had to tell you that I was a criminal. Doggone, I don't but know listen, what... I tell you, there is someone you can trust. I'm giving you a message. A message only you will be able to understand, in your own code. You better not. Stop me by shooting if you dare. But I'll shoot at the same time. Here's a drop on her, and she has a drop on him. She's sending the message with that telegram. Get in there fast. You two go to the rear door, we go to the front. Yeah. Hurry and get her before she tells all she knows on that telegram. Come on! Grab the girl! Take her gun! Look at her, Jake! Come on, boys! Get her! Get her! Talk and we'll know the reason why. Come on, Lefty. Speak up and save yourself a lot of trouble. I've told you men have got nothing to say. That girl sent a message on the telegram. Well, ask her what she said if you want to know. I'm asking you. Where'd you take her? None of your business. You tell what she said or I'll... Jake, don't be a bigger fool than you already been. I'm a Western Union man. I don't tell what goes over my wires. What that girl sent didn't go over the wires. I saw the switch. She sent a message to you and to no one else. Then ask her what it was. I wasn't paying particular attention. I was watching Jake with that gun in his hand, getting ready to duck if the shooting started. You're sure about that? I'm not sure about anything. I thought you fellas were my friends coming here to talk from time to time. Now, doggone it, I don't know what to think. Why'd you capture that girl? If you're on the level, why don't you let the law take charge? Don't you ask questions, Lefty. Then leave me alone. Uh, he's right. Come on, boys, leave Lefty alone. <laughs> Several days later, and some distance to the north, the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced toward a small mission. There's a mission, Kimosabe. Pretty hard ride all the way here. The summons from the Padre was urgent. That's what Indians say. The Padre often gave aid to the Lone Ranger. When he had information for the masked man, he passed the word to friendly Indians. Like magic, then, the news traveled far and wide in ever-expanding circles until the Lone Ranger was notified. Steady, Silver, steady, boy. Oh, let's go. <coughs> At last. Uh, gate open now. Padre. Lad, you came at last. I hope it is not too late. Too late? It has been two days since I sent first word. We were far from here, Padre. You must have been. Come, though. Come in. Uh, me take horse. All right, Tonto. Tonto, you know where to find food and water for the horses. Uh-huh. Me know. You come with me, son. Padre, why did you send for me? Come inside. We can talk as well while you're resting. You know what I've been doing for these past weeks? I know... I pray for your success. What I have may help bring that success. What is it, Padre? Wait until we're inside. Come. Sit down. I'll get food for you. Not now, thanks. First, tell me what happened. Very well. The other day, a man came here. He asked if I knew anyone who was called the Lone Ranger. Who was he, Padre? He told me that he operated the telegraph near a town called Ashton. Yes? He showed me a ring... Not a valuable ring, but an interesting one. Here, let me show it to you. Gold. It has a United States emblem on it. Yes. Have you ever seen it before? I once knew a man who... Yes, a ring like this. It can't be the same ring. Why can it not be the same ring? You mean... Padre, is this the ring? See. Si. Yes, it is. It's the same one. Where can I find the one who owns it? I do not know. But find that one you must, if it is not already too late. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. When the Padre showed the Lone Ranger the ring that Lefty had brought him, the masked man recognized it at once and demanded further details. Padre, Padre, tell me all you can. But first, my boy, I must know where you last saw that ring. On the finger of one of my closest friends, a Texas Ranger with whom I used to ride. One of several Texans who, well, who were murdered from ambush. Was he wearing the ring at the time of the massacre? No, he hadn't worn it for some time prior to that day. But it was his. An Indian made it for him. There couldn't be another ring like it. Seeing it now is like seeing a part of the past. Tell me, where did it come from? Please sit down. My story may not be as brief as yours. Very well. I told you that the man who does telegraphy near Ashton brought it here. He came a few days ago. His manner was uncertain when he first came in. I don't know just where to start, Padre, but I had to come here. Start anywhere. You'll find it easy to continue. Well, it's this ring. I was told to bring it here to you and ask you to find the Lone Ranger and give it to him. The Lone Ranger? Have you heard of him? Yes. Well, can you get this ring to him? It is possible. But tell me how you got the ring. Well, a girl came into my office during a heavy storm. I thought at first she'd come just to get out of the wet. But the more I thought about it, the more I was sure she'd come to ask questions. Questions? About some telegrams that had, coded ones. I showed them to her and she got pale. She was about to leave in a hurry when men came in and captured her. Padre, did this operator say the girl had been captured? Yes. Several days ago? Several days ago, my friend. And I should... But you have more to tell. The ring. While the girl's captors held a gun on her, she tapped out a message on the telegraph sounder. She told the operator that she was leaving a ring on the table. He was to bring that ring to me and ask me to hand it to you. I have done so. Couldn't the operator tell any more? No. I've told you all he said. I've got to speak to him. Otto, don't unsaddle. We're riding again as soon as the horses have been fed. I don't know who the girl is. I've never seen her face. Padre, she's been helping me. She's been against the Black Arrow and all its dangers as much as I have. If she had the ring, she must be someone near and dear to your friend. Yes. But how did she know I'd recognize the ring? Does she know who I am? If she does, and I doubt it, your secret is safe with her. But your horses are tired. Do you want to borrow fresh ones? No, no, thank you. Silver and Scout will carry on. Padre, did that operator return to Ashton? I assume he did. He said nothing of doing otherwise. And the sooner we can get there and question him, the better. Horse ready now. Good. Padre, do you mind if I take this ring with me? Take it. Wear it until you can return it to the owner. I hope that will be soon. I, I hope it will be. Goodbye, Lone Ranger. Until we meet again. Goodbye, Padre, and, and thank you. Come on, Tonto. Are you ready? And let's go. Get him up, Scout. Hold him, Silver. Holy! God bless him. The days passed, and the telegraph operator did not return to Ashton. Dorn's anger had increased. He paced the floor of his room in the hotel, and when he spoke to Red, his voice was almost a snarl. He don't do anything till I see Lefty. All right, boss. I was only asking, that's all. Who's watching the office now? Oh, Jake's there. I was to take his place at sundown. I want Lefty here as soon as he gets back. Why was he allowed to leave in the first place? Oh, golly, Mr. Dorn. No one said anything about not letting him leave. Uh, no one does any thinking. Pack of dull-witted fools. That's what I've got to work with. The, uh, the girl is being watched, I hope. Oh, sure, Mr. Dorn. we got a heavy guard around the cabin day and night. If she escapes... She I... won't. Uh, who is it? Mr. Dorn, I've got Lefty here. Yeah, about time. Now we'll learn a few things. Here he is. This is pretty high-handed, Mr. Dorn. Shut that door. Where have you been? I don't know if that's any of your business, Dorn. I took a few days off. My helper ran the office. Telegraph company don't complain. Don't know as anyone else should. Sit down there. They call you Lefty, don't they? That's right. Perhaps my men were a little crude in bringing you here. Hey, that galoot was standing in my office. He drew a gun on me as I came up. Jake, you should know better than that. Yeah, but Enough. You, just what do you want of me, anyhow? I didn't have a chance to tell you, Lefty, about the girl who was taken into custody in your office. Yeah, where is she? Oh, she's been turned over to the law. Federal prisoner. You see, Lefty, we have to work in a mighty different way than the local law officers. Are you trying to hint that you're law officers? Well, not exactly. Dorn, just what do you want of me? When that girl was captured, she said something to you in code on the telegraph. You left town for a few days right after that. I want to know what she said and where you went. 
So that's what you want to know, huh? I can pay you for the information, Lefty. I'm not interested. But if you... For the time being, I'll keep my information to myself. I'll tell you one thing, though. Well? I wouldn't advise you to have your men get rough with me. Just remember that the whole of the telegraph company's behind me. I'm sorry Jake treated you like he did. And there's one other thing, Dorn. Yes? I aim to find out more about that girl. I won't ask you because I don't know as I could believe anything you told me. But I'm going to have a talk with the sheriff now that I'm back in town and see what he thinks. That's all. Unless you figure to keep me here at the point of a gun. Oh, of course not. You can leave any time you want. Then I'm leaving right now. You've got to be careful how we handle him. He was right when he said the telegraph company stood back of him. But he's going to talk to the sheriff. That's why I didn't press matters. I've got the sheriff in my pocket. He'll tell Lefty that whatever I do is all right. We've got to find out what the girl told him when she used the telegraph. If I can't find out any other way, I'll make the girl herself tell us. But will she? She will, if she thinks Lefty's life depends on the telling. I'm going to keep her nearby until I'm convinced that she's told us everything we should know. Lefty talked with the sheriff, but when he had finished, he was more confused than ever. He considered the contradictory facts as he walked toward his home. Sheriff says Dorn's all right. That mean the girl's done something wrong. Doggone it, I can't believe that. She seemed to figure the Lone Ranger was on her side. The Lone Ranger wouldn't be on the side of anybody the law was after. Yeah, you gotta do plenty of thinking on this. Plenty of thinking. Mustn't make the wrong move. I'll get to bed and sleep on it. Lefty found a candle on the shelf beside the door. But before he could light it, a voice stopped him. Are you the telegraph operator? Uh, what the... Take it easy. They call you Lefty, don't they? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and light the candle. And I'll talk to you. Yeah, but who are you? Candle, Lefty. That's it. I'm over here near the window. May I ask you? I brought this ring with me. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Later that same night, Dorn was pleasantly surprised to see Lefty at his door. Why, come in, Lefty. I didn't expect to see you again tonight. I uh, had a talk with the sheriff. Oh, so I heard. I guess he set you right, didn't he? You still want to know what that girl said to me the other day? Oh, if you want to tell me, sit down. Yeah, thanks. She uh, asked me to get word to the Lone Ranger. She did? Yeah, that's why I left town for a time. Uh, did you get word to him? Not only that, he's coming here. If you're on the level, Mr. Dorn, I sure had the wrong idea about the Lone Ranger. When is he coming? Real soon. He's going to have men enough to take that girl away from you. He is, huh? Does he know how many friends I have to help me? Well, I guess he does. Uh, that's different. I don't like that. Yeah, but look here, Dorn. If you're sort of working for the government, the soldiers would be on your side, wouldn't they? Soldiers? Is that what he's well, going hold to... Hold on. Doggone it, you look downright scared. You've been lying in your teeth. You're not on the side of the law at all, and the Lone Ranger is. I'm going to tell him where you've hid the girl and Get tell him... Get your hands up. Up with him and hurry. Jake, come in here. I heard of Mr. Dorn. Out the back way with this man. Take him with us. You better watch yourself, Dorn. Remember that I have the Western Union back of Never me. Never mind what stands back of you. You've blundered into something and the cards are down. I'll get going and we'll pour lead in you. Do what he says, Lefty. Get going. <laughs> Lefty was taken out the rear door of the hotel, then forced to ride between Dorn and Jake. Outside of town, Dorn stopped at a rambling ranch house. <laughs> All right, inside with you. Take him in, Jake. Yeah. Call him in together. There's no time to lose. Boss himself. Now, all of you, listen to me. The Lone Ranger's coming here with the cavalry. I never said that. Too late to deny it now. This man's too dangerous for us. He's got to go with the girl. Get that rope tighter, Jake. I'll try. But it's a plenty tight now. What are we going to do now? Well, we've got to get the girl and Lefty out of here. Fill them. That's what I say. And yeah. leave, leave evidence like that? Leave proof that the girl was on the right track? No, you fools. She can be valuable. We can make, it, make her write letters and reports. That'll throw everyone off the trail. We can make Lefty send messages that will help us. What do we do? Red, Jake, you two will stay and help me. The rest of you ride out to meet this band. Hold them off for one hour. That'll give us time to get a head start. Get moving now. Hurry up, boys. They leaped to their saddles and rode on to the north trail. Dorn, meanwhile, packed saddlebags. I'll be ready in another minute. Jake, you keep watch on Lefty. I will. Red, take this key. 
Unlock the door of the girl's room. Good enough. Get her hands tied before you let her out. If she makes any trouble, hit her on the head with your gun. She won't make trouble. I'll be ready. Get those hands up. He's here. Lone Ranger. I'll show you. Get him. Get him. Mr. Redskin, too. I don't tell him. Here's one for Redhead. Good going, Redskin. Oh, you don't. This for you. Fight, fight. This for you, Dorn. Well, doggone if I didn't knock him down. Good work, Lefty. I couldn't do much with my hands tied this way, but I did get the chance to charge that rat-faced Dorn with my shoulders. I didn't dare fire at their guns. See, I didn't know where the girl was. In that there room, Red was just opening the door. Fellas all knocked out. Cut ropes on them, Toto. Well, some of the gang are at large. We have these three for prisoners. And Dorn, I think, is one of the ringleaders of the Black Arrow. Here, I'll cut those ropes, Lefty. That crook can tell plenty. Why, Ginger Cho worked out just right, just like you hoped. Dorn's scheme and mine filled in the spaces I left, and he sent the gang to meet you. Then he never stopped to wonder how I could know where the hideout was. He just brought me here so you could follow. We well, got that sheriff, too, but first I... The girl isn't here. Yeah, she was there. Oh, wait, she left a note. She must have slipped out while we was fighting. Hey, what's the note say, huh? Keep the ring. Dorn can name... Hello. Dorn can name the leaders. Uh, Dorn not talk now. Him dead. Dead? I didn't hit him that hard. Well, let me see. I just shouldered him, knocked him down. No marks on him. He must have had a weak heart that couldn't stand the excitement. Oh, gone. Another trail to the head man clothes. I hate to think I'm the cause of Dorn dying. Now you aren't, Lefty. If his heart was bad, any excitement might have had the same result. Now what we do? Well, two of these men are alive to be jailed. I'll go for the marshal. And me wait here? Yes, Tonto. I'll be back soon. I'll stay with Tonto. Very well, Lefty. Steady, Silver. <laughs> Maybe these pole cats will get conscious before you get back, and I'll have the chance to tell them what I think of them. Hello, Silver! Hoy! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.